Hello and welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to make a super delicious homemade fresh pesto. Let's get started. Like always, I will leave the entire recipe in the description box down below. For a pesto, you generally gonna need some garlic, some sort of nuts, some greens, some olive oil, some salt, pepper, and some hemp seed in this case, and olives if you want. The last two are optional. Also, when you have the greens, you can take any kind of greens. You can take a big variety or just one single kind of greens. Just make sure everything is fresh and if possible, organic. The first step is always to wash your greens properly, that's very important, and then starting to clean them. Just looking for some sort of garbage in between of the greens, otherwise just separating the leaves from the stems or just cutting the vegetables or the herbs in this case accordingly so that the machine has not to struggle too much. Now you may ask yourself why I'm taking so long and separate everything and not just cut through. It's because I rather prefer to use the leaves, but I also want to use some of the stalks. So I just separate it and then once I mix everything together, I decide how much of the stalks I want to incorporate into the entire mixture. Because the leaves kind of like they are more green, they're a little bit more tender, I prefer to have them in the a pesto they it's just way more aromatic but also the stalks give the entire pesto some more structure i like that about it so i just keep them separate and use as much as i like I try to incorporate as many greens, green leaves especially, as possible into my diet. And this is a very, very, very tasty and easy way to do that. Because as you can see, I have here cilantro and parsley, different kinds, even some celery and basil. So all like that much of leaves, you wouldn't be kind of like able to eat during the next two to four days. Uh, just like that so it makes it way easier and it's just a beautiful beautiful dip for any kind of sandwiches and pasta or vegetables or meat dishes it makes just everything more delicious even if you have just a simple bone broth you just can add one teaspoon of that to the bone broth and it tastes like a soup it's beautiful and very very healthy and if you don't know how to make your own delicious bone broth at home, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can try it out and leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know how you liked it. Mm, guys, I wish you could just smell this. The kitchen is smelling like these amazing herbs. It's just super, super fresh. I love the smell. Once everything is cut and cleaned and peeled, it's time to actually make our pesto. You can take any kind of food processor. I have a rather small one, but that's more than sufficient. So I'm starting here by putting a couple garlic cloves into the machine, some walnuts in this case, and some healthy olives. I love the oil combination here, it's very healthy. And then I even took some extra hemp seeds in this case because I love hemp. It has a very, very nice oil and protein and mineral profile, so it makes everything even richer. Next, I'm starting to put randomly the greens in because here I plan to make a lot of green pesto also for the rest of the family. So I just will use definitely all of the ingredients. 
there we go we just take small portions so that the machine is not going crazy and then yeah just go ahead and make everything small and fine and once you have a paste everything is good and we can move on with the process if it's not working all the time just open up your machine and then just give it a little stir and then add maybe a little bit more of olive oil and then the machine is good to go So this process will take a while just keep doing what you're doing till everything is finished look at this beautiful color i love it and guys i wish you could smell the kitchen it smells so delicious And with the greens, you can take any kind of greens, really any kind. You could even take the green parts of the carrots. Every kind of green that you can find in the market that are eatable are actually suitable for a pesto. Even if it's not a taking, like staying so long in your kitchen or in your fridge, you can definitely make them fresh and just eat them right away. It's a perfect combination and you will definitely thrive on this kind of a diet. I also prefer this kind of a dip um, rather than having any kind of sugary ketchup or industrial made kind of like dip. This is super healthy and it's very, very good to have it on a regular basis. It's also very, very healthy for your kids. So make sure you incorporate this kind of dip or pesto into your weekly food schedule. If you make a batch like I do, just make sure that you fill all your done pesto into a bigger bowl and then at the end give it a little stir again so that you have all the taste of the different ingredients combined in one. As you can see, the batters have different colors because sometimes you use more garlic and nuts, the other time you use more of the greens. So mixing them at the end all together will make sure that everything has an even nice taste. After you stirred everything well together, try your pesto. If you find with the taste, very good. If not, it's now time to add some extra salt and pepper. And then I am going to add my hemp seeds because I love the crunchiness of these little seeds at the end, staying like it. I don't wanna have it smooth, but it's up to you how you make it. Now one last time after combining everything together, I try my pesto and once it is perfect, I start to fill the pesto into my clean glasses. Make sure the glasses are very clean. You can also just clean them with hot boiling water. It's very important, otherwise it goes bad very, very fast. When you fill up your glasses, make sure you work very tidy it's important to not make a big mess because again we don't want to have pesto at the at the top of the glass because that part must stay kind of clean so that we don't have any bacteria if you have such a funnel then you also can use a funnel it makes life a bit easier
once you're done and your jars are full like almost full of the pesto it's time to clean them up so that we like i said have very very clean upper parts of the jar once your jar is clean you're gonna add up the olive oil which kind of like seals everything and it just stays very fresh for at least one week in your fridge like shown in the video it's very important that nothing is sticking out of the oil so make sure press it down everything is covered by the oil and then you should be fine go ahead and try this recipe it is amazing and it fits to almost every dish i have a couple videos actually where i used exactly this pesto to make the other recipes super delicious so check out the description box and then enjoy and have fun with it also don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what other recipes you would like me to cook for you guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end do not forget to hit the like button to hit the subscribe button and to come back next week on friday maybe saturday or even sunday maybe all of them because i'm gonna upload another amazing recipe video stay tuned isn't it wonderful that we all have more than enough to eat every day on our plates yes it is but unfortunately this is not the truth for many kids on this planet for less than 70 cents a day, you can share a meal with share a meal. Actually, three meals with one child. So let's make a difference. I'm going to leave a link down below. You can follow it. It's so easy to share a meal. I'm so grateful that you helped me to make a difference. Thank you.